Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make this houndstooth headband, ear warmer. It was really easy. Um, I actually made it adjustable here with two buttons, so it fits my daughter on one size and it fits me on the other, so be good for either size. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this project, I'm using a size um, I. It's a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. My camera's not really focusing on that. And I'm using a regular Red Heart Super Saver. So, worsted weight, four ply acrylic. But you definitely don't have to use acrylic, you can use any type of yarn that you have. You're going to need two buttons. Now I've seen there's a bunch of different ways to do the hounds to stitch. A bunch. So I'll just teach you the way that I do it. Um, so if you want to do it like me, I started with the chain of 53. I made it long enough to go around my head with maybe like um, a little bit a little bit short because I'm gonna add some a place for some buttons. So um, but if you want to make it your own size, it's done in multiples of 2 plus 1. But like me, I chain 53. And once you get your chain of 53, you want a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Like that. And then we'll double stitch into the next. Single crochet in the next. And then we'll double in the next single crochet and then double crochet. And that's the repeat pattern for the length of the chain. Single crochet. And then a double crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet. And then double crochet. Single. And double. So you just want to repeat this pattern. Single crochet, double crochet. For the length of your chain. Okay, I made it to the end, and the last stitch should be a double crochet. And I'm going to switch colors here to the contrasting color here at the end. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the last stitch like I'm going to do a double. And I'm going to go through the first two loops like I would normally. But instead of pulling this color through, I'm going to pull my new color through. like that. Now instead of uh, clipping off and having to tie in a bunch of tails, I'm going to carry my previous color with me as I crochet down the line. So when I get down here to this end, it'll be there. Now if you feel like you don't want to do that, you can clip off and start fresh. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chain one with my new color and turn. Now my old color is the white, the color A. I'm going to take it. See, it's not been clipped off. This is the very beginning tail, so it doesn't matter. But this one right here that has not been clipped off, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it behind me. Like I'm weaving in a tail, I'm just going to crochet it with me all the way down. So I'm going to go directly into the first stitch and single crochet, the very first one, the very first double crochet that we ended with, and single crochet. Now the next stitch is going to be a double, and it should be on top of a single crochet from the previous row. So just go in it and make sure you're getting that yarn that you're carrying over and crocheting it with you, if you want to do it that way. <clears throat> Some people kind of find that difficult. 
to carry yarn with them so it's really it's up to you now the next stitch down here will be a double so it'll get a single on top of it so it's just the same pattern that we just did double crochet single crochet it's kind of you're just doing it opposite of the row below so I just did a double crochet so my next stitch will be a single and if you look you can tell that it's on top of a double and that's what you want so I'm just going to repeat the double crochet single crochet pattern it's real easy to do the hound's two stitch just like we've been doing and as you can see I'm carrying this white yarn with me that way when I get down here to the end it'll be there and I won't have a bunch of tails to sew in which is always good but like I said if you find that kind of difficult to do if, you, if you're a beginner and you're having trouble finding how to hold it you can clip it off at the end of each row it's not really that big of a deal so you just want to repeat the double crochet single crochet pattern until you get to the end of the row again and then I'll meet back up with you okay I made it to the end of my second row and I'm getting ready to do uh, my last double crochet in this last stitch and here's my white yarn my color A that I carried with me the whole way so I'm just going to yarn over and go through that last stitch and do half of my double crochet with this color and then I'm just going to bring up my color that I carried with me and finish it out and now I'm going to chain one and turn now I'm going to be carrying my this color all the way across with me my black or my color B but it's completely up to you like I said if you want to clip it off you can but I'm going to go ahead and single crochet right into that same stitch that we just went came from and then double crochet in the next and then single crochet in the next and then double and then single repeating this pattern all the way across again and you can see I'm starting to make the little two stitches and I'm going to carry my color across each time I'm just going to keep repeating these rows until I get as thick as I want it to be and I'm not sure how many rows of this I'm going to do so I'll let you know here in just a few minutes when I get it finished how many total rows I did okay I did seven rows but you can definitely do as many as you want it's completely up to you so what I'm going to do is the wrong needle <laughs> sorry about that I'm going to go ahead and just tie off just um, one color the, I'm going to use one color to go around the whole thing and I'm going to do that in my color B, my black. So you can do it in whatever color you want. I'm just going to go ahead and tie off that color. Get it out of the way for now. Okay. Now I got this one still on the hook or tied in here. So I'm just going to go through any of these stitches and pull this yarn through like that and then chain one now I'm going to go across and put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around on these sides here it's going to be a little hard to see the stitch just kind of space them out evenly
crochet and I'm going to put two single crochets in the corners, in each corner. So there's one and two. Now I'm going to work my way down the long side here. Putting one single crochet in every stitch. And I want to do this all the way around my piece. So one single crochet and then back around the sides. Make sure you put two in each corner. And then you go, let's go back to the starting point. Make it all the way around. Just go ahead and slip stitch into your first, that first uh, chain one that you did. And then tie it off and hide your tails. Okay, now I'm going to take my other color. I'm going to start with the slip knot. And I'm going to make some straps here on the end that I can put buttonholes on one side and buttons on the other. So you find which side you like best and put it facing you. And we'll start two, there's your corner stitch, the next stitch, so three stitches in. This is where we'll, we'll start. You can start anywhere you want. I really don't mean that big of a deal. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So go ahead and start with, go through that slip knot on your hook. Chain one. And then one single crochet across until you get to the same spot on the other side. Like, here's my corner. And there's one, and then I started in the next. So here's my corner, here's one, and here's where I want to end. So really, there's the corner stitch and one more that's empty. And then you chain one and turn. And we'll go into not this very first stitch, but the next one, because that chain one counts as that first stitch. And work our way across. And don't forget to go into the very first chain one. That way it'll be straight. Chain one and turn again. And work across. I'm going to chain one and turn again. single crochet across. So this is going to be a total of five rows of single crochet I did and now I'm going to do a buttonhole. I'm going to do a chain one and turn. On my sixth row I'm doing a buttonhole. So I chain one turned. I'm going to single crochet in the first stitch. Chain three. And then I'm going to skip three chains and then single crochet and then single crochet into that last turn chain spot. Now I have larger buttons so if you have smaller buttons you could just do a chain one or a chain two but however many chains you do that's how many spaces you need to skip. Now I'm gonna chain one and turn now I'm gonna work a single crochet in every stitch across again including the stitches on the chain So since I had three, three chains, I'll have three single crochets along the chain here. Chain one and turn, do another row, single crochet. 
one in every stitch. I got my buttonhole, chain one and turn, and another row. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. And you can do more if you want, it's really up to you. So count my buttonhole row, I did five, six, seven, eight, nine rows. I got one buttonhole. Now I'm going to turn my work around, and I'm going to start again on the other side. Slip stitch. I'm going to start two in from the corner. Or the corner, skip one, and then go into that one. The next one, just like I did on the other side. Chain one, and then single crochet across. Now I'm just going to do rows of single crochet this time. I'm not going to put any buttonholes. So, I'm going to do it just like I did the other side, without the buttonholes, so I'll let you know how many rows I do here in just a second. Okay, I went ahead and did 10 rows on the other side. Now I'm just going to sew on a couple buttons with my yarn needle right here. That way you can put, can be um, adjustable. So I'm just going to use my needle and sew them on here. Just like this. And then I'm going to hide, it all my, hide all my tails. I got the buttons on, buttonhole, now it's adjustable. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do, you don't have to, you can be done if you want, it's completely up to you. I have a flower. And I'm going to put it on here. I already have a flower, a tutorial for this flower. It's my ruffle flower tutorial. It's my favorite flower. I use it a lot. Um, I'll put a link to that, this flower on the screen right now because I'm not going to go over it again. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to gather this up a little bit where I'm going to put my flower. So I'm just going to take it and pinch it like that and then sew it a couple times. Just to add looks. You know, you, you don't have to put a flower. You could put a button on it. You could leave it plain. You could put a bow on it. Just anything. It's completely up to you. I've seen them all different ways. There, I just gathered that up a little bit. Just kind of, I don't even really know why. A little bit of a decoration. Now I'm just going to take my flower. Which I left a, a tail on it to sew it on with. I'm going to sew it right here in my gathered spot. Right through it. I guess my flower kind of covers up the gathering I just did, but. Oh well. It still works. So I'm just going to go through and get this sewed on a couple times just until I feel like it's not going to come off and then I think I will be done. Okay, I went ahead and sewed it a little bit more to make it a little bit more gathered. Kind of noticed it, I guess, but I guess I might do a little bit more to make it even more gathered, but that's it. That's all that I'm going to do. So now you got an ear warmer headband. And it's adjustable with the buttons. And I hope you were able to follow along on my tutorial. Don't forget to like and, like and subscribe. And please check me out on Facebook. And until next time, have a good day.